Hi, this is Dave Wright. Uh, today we were out mowing and uh, had a little problem with one of our billy goat mowers. And uh, Chauncey's going to tell you what happened and how we are going to fix it. Today, um, the cable, beside the wear, um, it goes through a small sleeve underneath the engine here and hooks into a bar it tightens the belts when you squeeze this lever. Well, there's a rub point at the end of the tube where it goes through the, into the uh, um, housing of the engine block and it tends to rub there and it breaks. So I'm gonna be replacing that cable. And this is the drive cable that makes the wheels go around. This cable over here makes the blade go around. And we'll check that one. We'll grease it up a little bit when we get done. But we're going to replace the one for the uh, uh, forward motion. I'd be doing this work, you know, anywhere. Uh, in fact, if I had the cable with me, I could have done a field dressing on it because I had uh, everything I needed except for the new cable. So what I did is I took the old cable and removed it. And it's got a little hook that hooks into the handle up here. Why well, use that to get it from the other side? Put a stick on there and I was able to drive it the half mile back to the truck uh, using this as my uh, tool. A little scary here and there, depending on how fast and we, we didn't go over any major hills or anything like that. So the next thing is to get the rest of the cable set up out of here. So we use this side here and then reach under and let the, get the uh, rest of the nut off of there. And if it's worn at all, I'm gonna have to get a tool in there, but usually I can just get it with my fingers after I've loosened the tension on this side. A lot of threads that's used for adjusting the, the tension on the cable. So that's what goes through. This is where it rubs right on there. And it, uh, that's where it tends to break the cables by rubbing on that point there. So the next thing I got to do is take that zip tie off and remove the rest of the cable so I can put the new one on. These are wonderful things for holding cables in place, but you got to cut them with something. So I'm using my angle cutters there to get that. So we got a uh, what is this one? 7 sixteenths coupled with the open-ended uh, crescent wrench to get the old cable off. Knock up the nuts. There's the old cable that's left of it. This is the new cable. It'll attach on here. Let's go down through here. So first thing I'm going to do is put it down. Get this nut off. This guy go through the hole. That. can't see it from where you're at but underneath there there's a bar with a little hole in it and this the angle on this cable slips up into that so I'm going to be pushing this up in and over that bar and that'll hold it in place So 
if you put the nut back onto the uh, cable before you uh, put it into the bar, otherwise you won't be able to <laughs> tighten anything up. So I'm only gonna put the tightening screw up about halfway. The adjustment screw that way. And then we've got the, then we'll have to play with it a little bit more to get it adjusted to the right tension. Okay, so that's the lower end of it. It's been partly installed. This has got a lock nut on it. So it keeps it from vibrating loose. This comes up and simply hooks over here, over the cable, goes into the hole right there, and then you adjust it to feel the right tension. That feels about right to me, because you want to open up the springs just a little bit, but you don't want to have it so hard that it really uh, um, fatigues your hand while you're out there in the trail. That feels about right to me. So since that's about right, then we're going to tighten this retaining nut down because now that's going to create pressure against the other one that's underneath and keep it at the same, the right adjustment. Finish tightening this one down up here. You kind of want to angle the uh, um, tube on this one so that it aims where the handle is going to pull. You don't want to over tighten it because you want it to be able to flex itself a little bit. So when you pull the lever, this thing will rotate a little bit. Next thing we do is we take a little bit of, because of the fact that this way this thing just sets in there, it pops off as you're driving down the road and it's bouncing around. So we use a little electrical tape to keep, make sure it stays on there. Get rid of the old electrical tape first. Just a little bit of electrical tape will keep this on until the next time I have to change it. Otherwise it bounces out and it's a pain in the butt. Then the only other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go get a zip tie. We're gonna zip tie that back together. So just to keep the cable from sticking out too far, I'm gonna put a little zip tie around everything here and hold it in place. That way a branch won't catch on to it and try to rip it out. And that's for replacing the cable on the, uh, the drive side. To replace the cable on the, much easier, because this cable runs right through here much easier to get to than crawling down underneath, but this is for the blade. I'm not gonna do that today because it's looking in good shape, but I am going to put a, just a real dab of grease on the hole, both of them, so that the, uh, there's not a little less friction there. So I put a little grease on the cable where it's going to rub in there. And that's the only place they seem to break. It's right there at that rub spot. So by packing that with a little bit of grease in there, hopefully it will last a little bit longer. Put a little bit more on the cable going out towards the uh, 
connection point there. And while I'm at it, get a little grease on this one here. Right there where that tube is coming in. And grease that cable. And hopefully we won't have to replace it too soon. Thanks, Chauncey, for that uh, education and uh, repairing, replacing the cable. And uh, want to remind everyone to subscribe to the Victor Hiking Trail channel and learn more about how to maintain and use your equipment for when you're maintaining trails. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.